here's a Han Racecraft Turbo that I upgraded for a guy that has a Hayabusa. So here's the original compressor housing. This was a small 16G. This guy already bought these parts for the compressor housing and wheel. So basically what this is, is a 5 blade 60-1 compressor wheel, 59 by 76 millimeter. And as far as like the quality, I would say the quality is pretty good. But there is one thing that I did notice that I didn't like about this housing. So the one thing that I didn't like about this 60-1 cover is that if you look closely, this bearing housing does not meet the edge of the compressor housing properly. It's like it would be, the air would mostly be hitting a brick wall in here. But luckily the casting was made right so I can machine that down and it won't be a problem. So here's what it should look like after I've machined it out. So here's a look at the turbine housing. Now this is a turbine wheel that we did supply. It's a 9 blade TGO 6H which is 58.8 by 67.2 millimeter. And I did all the machine work. So as far as what this turbo is good for, um, on a gas engine like a 2.0 four cylinder, people are making uh, above 550 to 600 horsepower. But on the high boosts, it's a little bit different because uh, for engines that run much higher RPM, they usually see a lot more horsepower capability. So we'll just have to see what that's capable of. I wanted to give you guys a 360 degree look at this turbo. Now I did go with the 9 straight blade instead of the clipped turbine just because I wanted to keep a little more back pressure in the turbine housing for spool up. I still have to ask the customer if he wants to blast and paint the turbine housing or just leave it since it was already ceramic coated. So here's an inside look on, in, on this turbo. This is that wheel, the 60-1. It has a really tall tip by it. It's like 7 millimeter. So here's what I was talking about with the compressor housing. See how thick, how thick this area is right here? It's actually not supposed to be that thick. Now you'll notice that this space is bigger on this other housing I have because the difference is the tip height. The tip height on the 20G isn't as tall, but this is a significant, significantly thinner. So I can go back and machine this one and match it up. Now here's a look at the turbine housing after I did all my machining. One thing that I do have to do to it is trim this edge down right here. It just helps prevent it from cracking. This is a 10 cm uh, Han Racecraft T3 turbine housing. Now here's a look at the cartridge. Basically what I did here is uh, we balanced the assembly and then yeah, I did that turbine upgrade. So that turbine was one of ours. There actually is a clip version, but I didn't feel like that was appropriate for this compressor wheel or this uh, this turbo upgrade for this motorcycle. So I just used a straight blade turbine. Here's a look at the comparison of the nine blade clip turbine versus the straight blade turbine. So I have some people ask me if that Kinugawao or Konichiwa or Kunikuwu or whatever, I don't know, however you say that name, if they're quality parts. And for the most part, I would say they're pretty good quality. It's just that the difference is sometimes there's minor flaws like I just showed you. But thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if you have suggestions on other videos you'd like to see, then I'll be sure to make, make them for you. 
If not, I'll keep posting up videos that I'll, I already have in mind. I know I got one that I'm going to do for the S400 rebuild and the AT351VE rebuild. So if you want to see those, you can always subscribe.